among our table of geekiness oh, is a new plane and I'm not sure who this is wearing these. It's your old <laughs> mate Dom! <laughs> Listen, I, I know you don't like these, Jay, but I do think they look, make the DJI goggles, you know, just look that extra bit cool. <laughs> no, he's not convinced. <laughs> he's not convinced. Um, but I tell you what is important with these, because um, I wear glasses and so does Al. Right, Jay. So what we have are these amazing, cor amazing corrective lenses um, that we got from our friends at VR Wave. And what you do is you send them your prescription for your glasses and they will create you uh, a pair of corrective lenses that you just insert into your DJI goggles. They also do it for um, VR goggles and, and other uh, goggles like that. Absolutely fantastic and it just, <laughs> do you remember Do you remember Al when he put on the, the goggles with his glasses and he used to do that and he'd take his goggles off and the glasses would come off as well and he wouldn't yeah. know where his, where he, his he glasses were. He swears by were. his VR wear. He, he does, VR wear, he, um, he really loves them. Yeah, he does. And it's not a lot of money for just to be a lot more comfortable wearing your FPV goggles and not having to wear glasses. And if you wear glasses, a, there is a chance the, the lenses on your glasses will scratch the lenses on the, um, on the like DJI goggles. goggles, which would be terrible, because these are quite expensive. So anyway. What have you got? What have we got? We got the Zoe Dart XL uh, Extreme, which is uh, fantastic and designed for as an FPV platform. And I have flown it on FPV but have um, put a flight controller in it now and flying it off the, uh, the Radio Master TX-16S. Of which, which we've got three. <laughs> we've got Because we them. like them so much. Yeah. And, and let's be honest, Dom, yeah. these three TX-16s cost less than one of uh, their competitors' big models, right? Yeah, competitor transmitters. Yeah, I mean, I if you, if you, if you want those features in a, a brand name, in inverted commas, um, it would it would cost twice what those three yeah, Spectrum cost, or so. Futaba. If yeah, you look absolutely. at their ten plus channel radios, you you know you could buy five of these for one of one of those radios. You just have to le learn OpenTX, yeah. and you can teach an old dog new tricks. I've learned OpenTX, and you get the benefit that you can put in the modules for the uh, for Crossfire, which you can't do with some of the others. Great long range yeah. transmitter protocol, right? That we're switching over to, which you've put in here, right? Which I've put in here can with. Open that up? Uh, so if I take this off the back, uh, then you can see the speed control of the motor, but what's in here is the Crossfire receiver, look how small that is, uh, into the Matec 765 wing speed controller. So why would I have a speed controller in here? One Flight good... controller. Huh? Flight controller. What did I say? Speed controller. Flight controller. <laughs> we'll edit that bit out. So flight controller. Why would you do that? Uh, I think one of the reasons I've I've got it on everything now is that I was flying my EDF jet FPV and uh, I lost the DJI signal for, for whatever reason. It's electronic, so you, you know, so things can go wrong. And with the 765 flight controller, you can flick a switch and it can go into return to home. It will regain altitude and it will come back and it will circle over your home location where you turned it on. Lifesaver, isn't it? Really? It's a lifesaver. Yeah. So for what they cost? For what, for what they cost, it's a few quid and you hook it, uh, you, you put it in, it's relatively easy to do, but there's a lot of other benefits to it as well. You get flight stabilisation. Um, what else, Jay, you got? You, oh, you get all sorts. You can have auto trim, you can have loiter mode, you can do all sorts of things. You know, you can set it so that it stays at the same altitude, you just have to turn left and right. It's um, bonkers, there's yeah. just so much stuff. You get a plus OSD on-screen display of all the telemetry data that you want in in the goggles is absolutely fantastic if you're flying FPV. It's worth saying that the F765 is now discontinued so yeah. if you can get them get them but uh, a little birdie has told me there is a new one coming to replace it. Right so there's a little chip or something they there's can't get anymore. There's a little chip anymore. they can't get anymore yeah. So, so there's, an, there's a successor to that coming out but you still find them in stock I think you can get them and they're really really good. Um, so I'm learning iNav as well and uh, that's really easy. You just got the the app on your uh, on your PC, and you can program it up, and it's very easy to do. So we've got a 4S4000 in here. Yeah. Got my DJI FPV camera. Look, it, it's designed for it. It just fits in really easy. Um, so we're, this is my first real uh, RC aircraft with a flight controller. I'm intrigued as to how it works and the the advantages of it particularly when flying FPV. 
So Jay, let's let's give it a go. You're going to chase me around a bit in the drone as well. Yep, I'm going to chase you with the uh, with the camera quad. Jay. Yeah. Don't mid air me this time. Honestly, we don't ever. Honestly, guys, every time I take up a new model, this guy always hits me. So it only happened twice. I think it's happened a few more times than that. Anyway, let's get in the air. <laughs> let's go. How was that, Dom? I tell you what, um, that was fantastic for several reasons. Um, OSD telemetry was was brilliant, particularly you know that little arrow that tells you how to get back home. Yep. The direction back home was was brilliant because I did get lost a couple of times because when you go up high and then you look down and uh, you're looking out in the distance and all of a sudden you're wondering where am I? <laughs> it's, it's amazing you can only be a few hundred feet away and things look so different from, from yeah, up there. Yeah, it's just yeah. Like, like a load of fields and I had absolutely no idea where the, where the runway was so that, um, that helped me a lot uh, plus the rest of the telemetry but then the return to home feature as well, oh my, that is a lifesaver. It's a real shame we can't show people the OSD. Yeah, you can't with DJI, right. can't you? I can only show you the actual image and not the OSD projected on top because there's, there's no way to get that. But yeah, otherwise, I'm sold. You know, I'm, on everything I do, FPV, I have to get a flight controller in it, so I've got all the, those features. So, and I advise you looking into it as well if you do fly FPV fixed wing because it's invaluable and it could save you a lot of money. So thanks for watching this Essential RC flight test. Thanks to Jay on camera. No we'll be back with um, some more FPV, FPV flight testing soon, including the Fox over there that we're currently just uh, 
testing out, but we'll have a video of that head tracked FPV again with a flight tech, a Maytec 765 flight controller. And we're going to be flying those in formation, should be absolutely fantastic. And another project as well, we got the RV8s as yeah. well that we're going to be flying as well soon, plus others. Actually, and one really exciting one which I'll tell you about now is we're going to aim for having the fastest fixed wing FPV that you will ever see. That's uh, that's coming soon as well. So thanks for watching Essential RC. Thanks for subscribing. If you do subscribe, please click on the bell icon for notifications of all our uploads. If you want to support us, then you can become a member. If you become a member for less than a cup of price of a cup of coffee per month, you get to see all of our uploaded videos immediately. I know we release one publicly, one every couple of days, but we have like 50 other videos that you get instant, um, that you can see instantly. So consider it. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye.